Assalamualaikum, my name is Azmir and welcome to another episode of Zilfit TV. This is the continuation of our barbell series and in this episode, we're going to talk about the newest Eleco barbell, which is called the Hybrid Bar. At the point of this video shoot, this bar has actually not been launched officially by Eleco. Alhamdulillah, I got one unit for the showroom and I can't wait for my stocks to arrive probably in the next couple of months, inshallah. The hybrid bar is positioned similar to the XF bar. Now, if you recall, a couple of weeks ago, I did a barbell review on the XF bar, which you see down here. And I claim that this XF bar is uh, the best multipurpose bar, at least in the, the Eleco barbell lineup right with the introduction of this hybrid bar i might want to change my mind and i'll tell you why the hybrid bar in terms of its design it's exactly the same as the xf bar okay so it has a 28 mm grip diameter it has dual grip markings and it uses both bushings and also bearings okay so they're essentially the same in that sense. So what are the differences? The first thing that you'll notice is the color of the bar, right? It's like really dark gray, almost black, uh, if I can say that. And that's because it uses, and I hope I'm pronouncing this correctly, nitro carburized and oxidized surface treatment or short for NCO. It's a proprietary uh, surface treatment that Eleco has. What is it? What does it do? First of all, it is claimed that this NCO treatment, it is corrosion resistant and also scratch resistant. They actually did a test on uh, the bars. Obviously, with Eleco, everything that they produce is R&D. With this particular NCO treatment, what they did was they put the bar outside and uh, they put alongside with it a bar which is chromed. And after several months, I believe it was two months, um, the bar, the chromed bar, uh, had a lot of, a lot of um, rust spots on it. But with the NCO bar or the hybrid bar, hardly any rust at all. It's not to say that it's not going to rust at all. It will eventually, but it gives it more resistance than the traditional chrome bar. Okay. The second test that they did, they actually grinded two bars. One bar was set on a spinning machine and one bar was grinded uh, against the spinning bar. So they obviously they did two tests. One, they had a chrome bar on the spinning machine and then they grinded the, um, the hybrid bar against it. And what, what I could see in the video was that the chrome on the, on the chrome bar actually came off and uh, you can see the residue of the chrome on the hybrid bar. The second test, when they put the hybrid bar on the spinning machine and then grinded the chrome bar against it, you can see hardly any of the NCO treatment on the chrome bar. So that proves that it is scratch resistant. The second difference uh, between the hybrid bar and also the XF bar is the center knurling. This center knurling is it's not aggressive at all. It's rather flat. Uh, even if I touch it, I mean, it gives it a bit of grip, but I honestly don't think that this would hurt um, your clavicles if you do a lot of volume work like, uh, um, like in CrossFit. The third difference is that it has a 1.2 knurling in Eleco Lingo, you know. So the knurling is more aggressive than the XF bar and I can immediately feel it when, when I touch the, the bars, okay? So this is, um, the, knurling is, the knurling is more aggressive and this is suited for those who intend to do more powerlifting workouts. Because of the three reasons I just mentioned, 
I believe that the hybrid bar is actually a more well-rounded multi-purpose bar. I'm sure you're going to ask, between the two bars, which one should you choose? If you are just doing CrossFit and you don't intend to do anything else, then I would suggest you just get the XF bar. Okay? But if you feel that down, down the years, you want to try different sports, let's say powerlifting, or you want to specify yourself in weightlifting, then I think this is a much better bar to get. Especially for powerlifters, the grip is designed with you guys in mind. Um, it is not as aggressive as the performance powerlifting bar. That, that one is a bit different. And also, the performance powerlifting bar is 29mm and the bar is so much stiffer. But this, for any, any powerlifter, I think would be more than sufficient. I believe the Rogue Ohio, bar is, Ohio Power Bar is also 28mm, probably 28.5mm, just minor differences. Um, the whippiness of the hybrid bar should be the same as the XF bar. Um, so again, if, if, if you are just uh, probably a casual power lifter, this bar would suit you best. Uh, obviously, if you are a competitive power lifter, then you might want to look for specific bars for your specific uh, federation that you associate with. But if you are just doing the standard squat, bench, deadlift, this bar will be perfect for you. And as I mentioned, if you want to transition out or if you want to do some other workouts than powerlifting and you want to do some weightlifting because of the bushings and bearings that uh, this bar has, it's similar to the XF bar and you can do weightlifting and I can guarantee you that especially at least in Malaysia, uh, the bars that you have in the, on the market right now, this would be right at the top in terms of um, the feel of the weightless, weightlessness, weightlessness when you do your cleans or when you do your snatch. Um, so that's why I feel that this bar has a lot more purpose to a lot more people. And it was also created be with, the pe uh, with those who have a garage gym um, in, in their home. Uh, that doesn't apply here in Malaysia at least. Um, and I would think most of the countries that I've visited in Southeast Asia would also ha doesn't have any garage gyms, especially your, unless you are super rich and that's a different story. But if you do have a garage gym, but our equivalent is that we have a very humid weather, hot and humid weather. So if you have any, any one of those, then this bar would be more suitable because of the corrosion resistance that the NCO treatment provides. Another thing is that if you own a gym and if the bar in your gym is used heavily by your customers, then this would also be a good bar to have, especially when, you know, all these uh, people who come go, go to the gym, uh, more likely than not, they will just take the bar, use it, leave it where they finish their workout, right? So they don't actually brush the bar or clean the bar uh, at all. That's up to you, the gym owner, to actually maintain the bar. Now, I've seen the chrome bar, if you see the chrome bar uh, in my showroom right here, even though it is rarely used, the chrome, the bar looks almost like brand new. I, had, I don't have any rust on it or whatnot. But I've seen this bar where it's not being maintained properly, right? And in an environment where uh, there are open windows, so you get the humidity um, in, in the gym and it had spots of rust on, on the chrome, okay? Uh, if, you, if you actually brush the, the bar, the chrome bar, um, you know, re almost religiously, you probably won't get those, those uh, spots of rust. But obviously, when you have one barbell or two barbells, eh, like in the showroom, it's easier to maintain. But if you have a, uh, a gym with, I don't know, five, ten barbells, especially if you have a CrossFit box, then it becomes a bit of a hassle to just maintain and clean the bars. What I'm trying to say is that if you get the hybrid bar, that maintenance work is going to be reduced. Obviously, you don't want to leave the bar um, not being maintained. Uh, you should brush the bar down, you know, probably end of the day or maybe every couple of days. 
or something like that, depending on the usage of, of the bar. Um, but this NCO treatment will definitely help in prolonging the longevity of the bar itself. The warranty on, on the hybrid bar is actually 12 years. So it's not against um, wear and tear, but on manufacturing defect. That's why I think this bar is a good deal to, to have for either your crossfitter, powerlifter, weightlifter, whether you train in a, your home gym, or garage gym, or whether you have uh, a commercial gym. I noticed something about this bar when I try to spin the sleeves. Um, it's not as smooth as the XF, um, the XF bar that I have. I'm not too sure whether because it's new or whether it's, it's something else, or whether it's by design. But let's just see, just, let's just compare between the hybrid bar and also the um, XF bar in terms of how well it spins. Okay, so I'm just gonna lightly spin the 10 kg plate. As you can see, it's not, it doesn't spin as long as the XF bar, which, which I'm gonna show you after this. Let's spin it again. Okay, this is not to say that it doesn't spin well. Uh, I'm gonna try to do some cleans after this to see whether or not I feel any difference between the hybrid bar and also the XF bar. I'm gonna put the XF bar on here now and then just do the spin for you to just compare. Okay, here we go, this is the XF bar. There you go. All right, so let's just take the hybrid bar uh, for a test run and see whether I feel any difference. One question I get asked a lot is the rattling of uh, the bars. Sorry, the rattling of the barbell. So let me just demonstrate. Hopefully you can, uh, hopefully the mic actually catch, catches the, uh, the sound. So. Okay, uh, now I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do the same for the XF bar. Okay. Rattling test done. By the way, when you get this bar, you feel that the surface is a bit oily, but that all will uh, disappear after a while. So, um, let me go ahead and try to clean this. I did a few rounds with it. That's why I'm a bit short of breath. Um, it's actually Ramadan now, so uh, don't have a lot of energy. Not that I have a lot of them before Ramadan anyway. So I'm gonna do my best just to see whether there's a difference between this bar and uh, the XF bar. Uh, let me just set the mic down. So you've seen me doing a horrible cleans. Now I'm gonna show you how horrible my snatch is. I'm not too sure whether I can still snatch 40 kilos, but let's give it a go. Okay. Hold on. Okay. 
this is what I've been telling a lot of customers about when, when they want to buy a bar. Now, a lot of people, especially if you're a weightlifter, um, you tend to want to go for the best. Um, not up to the point of the competition bar or the training bar, but at least the performance weightlifting bar. Now, depending on your level of skill for weightlifting, you probably cannot tell the difference between the XF bar and also the uh, performance weightlifting bar. With the XF bar and with the hybrid bar, you'll get a good weightlifting experience with both bars, right? You wouldn't be able to notice the difference in terms, the difference between a bushings and bearing bar against a full needle bearings bar, okay? So I always recommend that for beginners up until intermediate, if you want to select a bar, you go with the XF bar. It's cheaper and uh, you'll probably be able to train and, and uh, hone your weightlifting skills with the bar, and it will last you for years, okay? But if you're in intermediate and also advanced, you, you wanna go for performance weightlifting bar and above. And uh, in terms of the difference, be, differences between the XF bar and the uh, hybrid bar, I mentioned earlier about the, the spin. Again, I didn't notice any difference, right? I'm, a, I'm an amateur lifter, and that's, that's even an overstatement. Um, I didn't feel any difference. Now, the only difference that I can feel, that I felt, was the knurling. The knurling on the hybrid bar is actually similar to the performance weightlifting bar. I reiterate, if you are a solely a cross, a cross fitter, then get the XL bar, okay? But if you are doing a lot of different things, then the hybrid bar would be the perfect multi-purpose bar. So, in summary, well, that was the summary. <laughs> it's very difficult for me to catch my breath. Okay, so in summary, both the XF bar and the hybrid bar are multi-purpose bars that would suit any home gyms or any uh, commercial gyms. Obviously, with the NCO surface treatment, you get the added corrosion and scratch resistance from the hybrid bar. So, in terms of the price point, um, the price at the point of uh, this video has not been released yet, but it's going to be higher than the XF bar, but I believe it's going to be lower than the uh, performance weightlifting bar. So my, my verdict is that if you're looking for a bar, get the hybrid bar uh, now. That's it for this episode. Um, if you have more questions about the hybrid bar, do leave your questions or comments in the comment section below. If you need to get in touch with me, uh, my email address is in the description. I hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> Uh, if you did, uh, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please click the subscribe button. I think it should be somewhere here. And don't forget to turn on the notifications so that you are always informed when we uh, come out with new videos. Uh, again, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next Zilfit TV episode. Bye.